I'm your host Dan Rojas and I'm sitting next to a 46 inch acrylic mirror that we made. This is one of the largest acrylic mirrors that we have. This mirror is different than the 55 inch mirrors that we have that are made out of aluminum in that the focal length on this is longer. It is about one meter the focal length on this and this mirror is just amazingly powerful. The mirrored surface is really really nice. It's a near perfect mirror. There are a little bit of a uh, uh, tension marks that we had but we're working on that these mirrors are really good for solar collecting it doesn't matter the mirrored surface is protected these will hold up really well it's got a nice durable back now I'm gonna be showing you in this video something else I'm gonna be showing you a different idea with the boiler and uh, we'll call it the Snapple boiler simply because we're using a Snapple bottle I'm gonna show you that and it's actually a lot more efficient than a standard steel pipe what you're looking at is a standard Snapple bottle. It's a 16 ounce bottle and I picked this bottle because it was the only clear glass bottle that I had. In some of our other videos I mentioned that clear glass pretty much just lets light pass right through. So the glass bottle by itself would make a terrible boiler. But what we're going to do is we're going to add something to it. What I have here is some standard stainless steel wool. And this is just basically steel wool that's not going to rust or uh, it holds up really well. It will burn if you expose it to a mirror just like that. The reason this boiler can work and the reason that it works so good is because you get the insulating property of the glass. So a steel container is constantly leaching heat out into the uh, atmosphere. The glass does the same thing but not as uh, fast. Also, you're inside where the water is. So this actually just gets super hot and transfers it right to the water on many, many different surfaces whereas a steel pipe will just have one area there. Now, the advantage of solar in this particular case is that you couldn't just set this on top of a fire and you can't do that. Because we're using light, it works really well. So I'm going to pour some of this out. I'm going to shove this stainless steel wool in there. And we're going to see how quickly we can get this to boil with the big parabolic mirror. Um, there's different types of stainless steel wool that you can get. This is the really coarse stuff. There's even some really, really coarse stuff that's used for scouring pads. I'm, I'll show you those in a future video. They work excellent. This um, has a nice dark property to it, so it absorbs a lot of the light. In regards to a steam engine, I wouldn't recommend putting this glass under pressure. There is glass out there that would work for, say, 60, 70 PSI. So if anybody has any uh, ideas on that, feel free to post it in the comment section below. We're going to get going on this and see how long it takes to get this to boil. see the power of this mirror. The nice thing about this mirror too is that the fact that the focal length is a little over a meter long. A lot of guys have emailed me about using these mirrors for telescopes and most of the ones that we have have a shorter focal length so it really doesn't do much good. This one however gives you a pretty decent image of the moon at nighttime. Uh, I'll be doing a video on that soon too. 
I do have to make the uh, mount for this because it's pretty flexible still. So that'll take care of that. And uh, these are really strong mirrors. Did that in about three minutes. It's pretty good. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.